In this question, we're told that there are nine counters in a bag. Now seven of these counters are green, and two of the counters are blue. Rhea takes at random two counters from the bag. Now we need to find out the probability that Rhea takes one counter of each colour. So we can do this by drawing out a tree diagram. So we'll have over here two branches. And this will be for green, and this can be for blue. And so the probability that Rhea draws a green counter, well, there are seven green counters out of nine total counters. So the probability of drawing green is seven over nine. And so we know that there are two blue counters and the probability of drawing blue is two over nine. And now we're told that Rhea takes at random two counters from the bag, but she doesn't replace the counters, which means that there are now a total of eight counters. So after she takes one green, and after she takes one blue, there's only going to be eight counters left in the bag. So we can see that if she takes one green, that means the number of green counters reduces from seven to six. So we now have green is equal to six out of a new total of eight. But if she takes a green counter, the number of blue counters stays the same. So we'll have two out of eight for blue. But then if she draws a blue counter, the number of green counters in the bag remains the same as before. So we'll have seven out of the new total of eight counters. Because if she draws a blue, there will no longer be two counters, but just one. So we'll have one over eight over here. And so the probability that Rhea takes one counter of each colour. So that is the probability that she takes either green and blue, or she takes the probability of blue and green. And now the general rule for prob probability is that and means you multiply, and that or means you add. So we can say that the probability of getting green and blue is equal to 7 over 9 multiplied by 2 over 8, because we have green and then blue. So probability of green and blue equals 7 over 9 multiplied by 2 over 8, which we can simplify into 14 over 72. And then we have the probability of blue and green, which is 2 over 9 multiplied by 7 over 8, because following the tree diagram, we have blue and then green. So we can write that out below. Probability of blue and green is equal to 2 over 9 multiplied by 7 over 8, which is 14 over 72. And so we mentioned that or means add. So we're trying to find green and blue or blue and green, which means we'll now do 14 over 72 plus 14 over 72 equals 28 over 72. So we've now found that the probability that Rhea takes one counter of each colour is equal to 28 over 72. This question involves four marks, and the first mark is for correctly drawing the tree diagram with the right probabilities, making sure that the probability is out of eight after we've already drawn a counter from the bag, which we've shown very clearly in our diagram. And now the second mark, we find the probability of green and blue, and for the probability of blue and green by multiplying and getting an answer of 14 out of 72 for both. And now the third mark, will be for adding these together, for showing that we've done that calculation. So we've done that over here, 14 over 72 plus 14 over 72, and that's our third mark. And then that th final fourth mark will be for getting the answer of 28 out of 72.